Kali Linux has long been the go-to toolset for ethical hackers and penetration testers, but now the team behind Kali is taking a bold step into the world of defense. Enter Kali Purple, the newest version of Kali Linux, focused not on offense but defense. In this video, we're going to dive deep into what Kali Purple brings to the table, explore its key features, walk through the installation process, and evaluate whether it's truly ready to defend networks in the real world. If you're looking to elevate your cybersecurity game with a versatile toolset that handles both offensive and defensive strategies, stick around. Hi, I'm Jasmine, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or cloud pro fast. Kali Purple marks a significant evolution in the Kali Linux family. Traditionally, Kali has been synonymous with offensive security, providing a rich toolkit for red teaming, penetration testing, and vulnerability assessment. However, with the release of Kali Purple, the focus shifts towards equipping security professionals with tools for both offense and defense, a full-spectrum approach to cybersecurity. It's designed to help professionals build and operate a security operations center with ease, making it essentially a sock in a box. This release is packed with over 100 defensive tools for packet capture, malware analysis, incident response, and network defense, while still retaining the offensive capabilities that Kali is famous for. But how does it stack up in practice? Join me as we dive deeper into the capabilities of Kali Purple and explore how it could revolutionize defensive security operations. So what's new in Kali Purple? The most immediate change you'll notice when booting up Kali Purple is its structured interface, which is organized around the NIST cybersecurity framework. This framework is broken down into five key functions. Identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover. Each of these functions has its own suite of tools, making it easier to manage all stages of cybersecurity, from identifying potential risks to responding and recovering from cyber attacks. These tools are essential for post-incident analysis and data recovery. This organization into the NIST framework is a game changer for SOC teams because it breaks down cybersecurity operations into actionable, manageable stages. With this holistic approach, Kali Purple shifts the focus from merely offensive tactics to a comprehensive strategy for cybersecurity. Moreover, Python updates now include adjustments like APT and VENV, improving package management and environment isolation for more secure coding practices. The new Break System packages feature adds a warning layer to prevent inadvertent changes to crucial system files, reinforcing the stability needed for security operations. A fresh theme and desktop environment updates give Kali Purple a modern and efficient interface with the 2023 theme refresh, providing sleek new wallpapers. Desktop environments like XFCE 4.18, KDE Plasma 5.27, and GNOME have been optimized, with KDE offering a new tiling system for better workspace organization. This plays a crucial role in enhancing the overall efficiency and workflow for SOC teams, who often juggle multiple cybersecurity tasks. Kali Purple also includes default kernel setting improvements, which enhance system stability and security, as well as support for various hardware setups with Kali ARM updates. New tools have been added to its growing arsenal, further reinforcing both offensive and defensive operations. However, before you can start leveraging these incredible defensive capabilities, let's address the installation and setup, the challenges of Kali Purple. While getting it set up is not without its difficulties, the rewards can be substantial. Unlike the pre-built virtual machines available for standard Kali Linux, Kali Purple is only available as an ISO image. This means that you'll need to install it manually using a virtualization platform like VMware, VirtualBox, or deploy it on physical hardware. For users accustomed to the convenience of ready-made virtual machines, this can feel like a hurdle. Additionally, configuring advanced tools like the Elastic Stack requires a fair amount of manual setup. 
For instance, while Suricata and Zeek integrate seamlessly, the task of configuring Elastic to monitor and visualize logs from multiple sources can be quite time-consuming, particularly for those who may not be well-versed in data pipelines and Kibana dashboards. But this complexity highlights a pivotal shift in the cybersecurity landscape, the evolution of Kali. While Kali Linux has traditionally been synonymous with offensive security, Kali Purple represents a groundbreaking evolution, bridging the gap between offense and defense. It bridges the gap between red teaming and blue teaming, offering tools not just for penetration testing, but also for network defense, incident response, and threat detection. Think of it as the ultimate defensive toolkit wrapped in the familiarity of the Kali environment. This marks a new chapter for the Kali family, positioning it as a viable solution for both attackers and defenders in the cybersecurity world. The key feature that makes Kali Purple stand out is its ability to function as a sock in a box, a ready-made security operations center. With its 2023.1 release, Kali Purple comes preloaded with over 100 defensive tools, including everything from packet capture utilities to malware analysis frameworks. Notable tools include Suricata, a powerful intrusion detection system, Zeek for network monitoring, and Elastic Stack for real-time traffic analysis and visualization. This suite of tools transforms Kali from an offensive powerhouse into a formidable defensive solution. And speaking of formidable transformations, let's delve into one of the most innovative aspects of Kali Purple. Its adoption of the NIST cybersecurity framework. This framework segments the platform into five critical functions. Identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover. This structured approach ensures that security teams can manage threats throughout the entire life cycle of an attack. Identify. Using tools like Mass Asset Finder, security professionals can quickly map out network assets and identify potential vulnerabilities. Protect. In this section, Crypt Setup secures data through encryption, protecting sensitive information from unauthorized access. ClamAV provides antivirus protection, while Firewall Builder helps you design and manage firewall rules to bolster your defenses. Detect. Here, Tools like Grokeft and SentryPeer come into play. Grokeft processes Windows event log data for detailed analysis, while SentryPeer monitors and identifies potential threats in real time. Respond. When incidents occur, the Respond section helps teams react quickly. Tools like Yara and NetSniff NG enable rapid malware detection and network traffic analysis. Recover. Post-incident recovery is often overlooked, but Kali Purple offers tools like DD Rescue for data recovery, My Rescue for general file recovery, and Recover JPEG for restoring JPEG images. This framework gives Kali Purple the versatility needed to handle everything from day-to-day -day monitoring to post-attack recovery, making it more than just a set of tools, but a comprehensive defense solution. Now let's dive deeper into what truly sets Kali Purple apart its powerful suite of defensive tools that are game-changers in the cybersecurity landscape. First up, we have NMAP. NMAP, Network Mapper, is a versatile tool used for network discovery and security auditing. It helps in mapping out network structures and identifying open ports, services, and potential vulnerabilities. In Kali Purple, NMAP is a go-to tool for monitoring network health and identifying weak points before they can be exploited. Its ability to perform deep scans makes it invaluable for both offensive and defensive operations. Next, there's Wireshark. Wireshark is a well-known network protocol analyzer, allowing you to capture and inspect network traffic in real time. It provides granular packet-level details, making it essential for troubleshooting and incident investigation. With Wireshark, you can analyze network behavior, spot anomalies, and identify potential threats in your environment. Then there's Metasploit. Metasploit is traditionally seen as a penetration testing framework, but in Kali Purple, it can be used defensively as well. Metasploit enables you to simulate attacks on your network, helping to identify and fix vulnerabilities before attackers can exploit them. This proactive approach aligns with Kali Purple's focus on building a strong defense by understanding and fortifying potential weaknesses. 
Autopsy, on the other hand, is a powerful digital forensics platform that helps with post-incident analysis. Whether you're dealing with a malware outbreak or investigating a data breach, Autopsy provides the tools to recover files, analyze data, and conduct full forensic investigations. But Kali Purple doesn't stop there. It also dives into the critical realms of reverse engineering and malware analysis, essential for any effective incident response. Let's explore the impressive array of tools designed to tackle these challenges head-on. Tools like Ghidra and Radara2, which can be installed via the APT Package Manager, allow security professionals to dissect and understand malicious code. Reverse engineering is essential in cybersecurity, especially when investigating custom malware that may not be detected by traditional signature-based tools. Additionally, tools like Autopsy play a vital role in digital forensics, allowing teams to analyze compromised systems, recover deleted files, and gain insights into how an attack occurred. This combination of real-time defense and in-depth forensic capabilities positions Kali Purple as an all-in-one defense solution. But the burning question remains, can Kali Purple effectively tackle the challenges of real-world network defense? Let's delve into its practical applications and assess its readiness for the cybersecurity landscape. The answer is almost. Kali Purple is a powerful defensive toolkit that brings together the most essential tools needed to protect networks. However, it still has some growing pains. For instance, the documentation for setting up advanced configurations is sparse, and not all tools are as user-friendly as they could be. As such, Kali Purple may not be ideal for beginners who are unfamiliar with SOC architectures or defensive cybersecurity operations. For SOC analysts, incident responders, and blue team professionals, however, Kali Purple offers everything needed to manage a robust defense system. Its combination of offensive and defensive tools makes it a great choice for hybrid environments where both red and blue teams collaborate. Moreover, as the Kali Purple community grows, we can expect more features, better documentation, and smoother installations in future updates. But how does this innovative solution stack up against other established defensive tools in the market? Let's explore the strengths and weaknesses of Kali Purple in comparison to its competitors. While Kali Linux has long been a favorite for red teaming, tools like Security Onion and Snort have dominated the blue team space. Kali Purple brings a competitive edge by combining offensive and defensive capabilities in a single platform, offering a holistic view of network security. Unlike Security Onion, which is purely defensive, Kali Purple provides tools for testing and defending, making it a versatile solution for red and blue teams alike. However, it's important to note that Kali Purple is still evolving. Compared to well-established solutions, it may lack the polish and ease of use found in other SOC platforms. But its potential to become a one-stop solution for cybersecurity defense is undeniable. So what's the bottom line? Does Kali Purple deserve a place in your cybersecurity toolkit? Let's weigh the pros and cons to determine if it's worth your time and investment. Almost. For experienced security professionals, it offers an impressive array of tools that can handle everything from threat detection to forensic analysis. It's not quite as polished as some of its competitors, but with community-driven improvements, it has the potential to become a must-have tool for any cybersecurity team. If you're serious about cyber defense, Kali Purple is definitely worth exploring. It's a powerful toolkit that could easily become a staple in both offensive and defensive operations as it matures. If you haven't already, give it a try and see how it fits into your cybersecurity toolkit. Thanks for watching this review of Kali Purple 2023.1. If you're excited about trying out this new defensive Kali edition, let me know how your installation goes or what challenges you faced in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more in-depth reviews, tutorials, and guides on cybersecurity tools. I'll see you in the next video. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.